do add alcohol and then and sometimes you have guns and it's a recipe for disaster. Police are investigating a double homicide in Magna today after a fight broke out at a house party overnight. Well, good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us here tonight. Two young men between 18 and 20 year old have died, and a teenage girl was also shot, but left in fair condition. KSL News Specialist Ashton Goodell has the story. The party got out of hand at some point, and at least one person pulled a gun. Police say some of the details are a little unclear because there are so many people involved in so many conflicting stories. The situation where, and, and you see it time after time, where you have a social gathering, people may, may show up that weren't invited, then you, you add alcohol, and then and sometimes you have guns, and it's a recipe for disaster. Police estimate 30 to 50 people came to the party on Evening Light Co. Most of them were teenagers, and they say it was apparent that many of them were drinking. My impression was uh, from people that I saw that there was um, uh, a lot of intoxicated uh, or nearly intoxicated young people out there. Investigators say the witnesses were cooperative but took some time to sober up before they could be investigated by police. Police say they're reviewing video from cell phones and surveillance cameras around the neighborhood. Uh, I'll call them youngsters that, that get killed and just like, what a waste, you know, why? And, and some of the reasons why uh, people shoot each other these days are just uh, amazingly uh, uh, just ignorant. They end up being just uh, tragic for not just the the young person that's killed, but for the young person's friends and family. At this point, police say they don't have a suspect and won't say whether the victims were also the shooters. They say it's too early in the investigation to release that information. Neighbors say the people living in the house are friendly and mostly keep to themselves. Very quiet neighborhood. Very, like, there's nothing that really happens here, and everybody kind of knows not too much everybody, but we enough to where we could say, hi, neighbor, how are you, and and things like that, but yeah, I've never seen any trouble here. Unified Police has several detectives assigned to the case with a lot of evidence and testimony to go through to piece together a narrative of what really happened here. And I feel sorry for the homeowners because now they have to deal with the aftermath and whatever's gonna transpire. It's awful, really awful. The underage girl who was shot is expected to be all right, and since some of the victims are underage, their names will likely not be released. In Magna, Ashton Goodell, KSL 5 News.